Right, today we're going to be playing with a buzzer. And the first thing you need to do with a buzzer is, is buy one. So you get one of these off eBay, and then you need to find out what you've got here. So the way you do that is you take a couple of volts and um, plug them in. And if it goes buzz, it's a buzzer. And if it goes clickety clackety, like this one, it's a piezo electric device. And if it goes, if it goes bang, it's a, it's a goner. Uh, right. So now we've got a piezo electric device here, which is much more interesting than a buzzer because a buzzer just buzzes. And the next thing we do is connect it to the Pi. Let me just zoom in now. And, oh, this is nice. This is uh, Dr. Simon Monk's Raspberry Leaf. It's just a little cutout that you plonk on top of the GPIO pins and uh, it tells you what they are. Now, this, uh, this little gadget is going to connect to, if I count down the pins physically, the third one down is ground and the fourth, fifth, sixth one down is something called pin 18. Uh, pin 18 is interesting because um, that one you can actually set in hardware to do all sorts of funny things, including pulse width modulation. So let's plug the speaker in. I'm going to plug it into that ground and um, pin 18. There it goes. You need to get this on the right way around, otherwise the, the sound comes out backwards, perhaps. Okay, so that's in. Now I'll, uh, I'll power this Pi up. And, uh, oops, there we are. Put some volts on. You can see what's happening. Um, there we are. It's starting to boot up. While it boots up, that pin 18 I was talking about, you can configure that if you've loaded in or loaded up the uh, Wiring Pi software. Get this on the Raspberry Pi website. And that allows you to get those pins very, very easily. And the other thing it allows you to do is to set up that pin, that pin 18, into pulse width modulation mode. And the nice thing about that is that you are now flicking that, uh, that pin on and off in hardware rather than software. Uh, and that means that you don't have to worry about timing too much because the hardware does it for you. The, the Pi is booting up and in a moment, with a bit of luck, you should hear something. There you go, more from the Pi. Now, um, if I now uh, kind of zoom out and if I SSH into the Pi, SSH uh, Pi 192, that should get me straight in. Bang, I'm in. I'm using RSA authentication here so I don't have to worry about passwords and passphrases and things. And if I now change directory to my, um, my scripts on the Pi, I should be able to uh, play something, as in um, nothing very exciting. Exciting, GPIO siren dot uh, pl because I'm in pool. Ah, great! No such file or directory. Wonderful. What does that mean? Uh, GPIO hyphen. It's not a hyphen. It's an under underscore. There we are. And that demonstrates that out of a piezoelectric device you can get a number of tones. And I think that's about enough for one day, don't you? <laughs> Bye now.